Hello wet shavers. Welcome to the Soap Thing Project. Today's video, we're going to do a shave the new fashioned way. Because sometimes we have to remind ourselves where we came from and why we left. This is uh, going to be the last shave in this itty bitty shaving space. My wife and I are moving into a bigger, better house on the other side of town. So it's time to say goodbye to this, uh, this shave den and move on to, to bigger ones. So for this shave, we're going to use Barbasol Original. We're going to use the Gillette Sensor. And this isn't even a Sensor XL. It's just a plain old, plain Jane. So Gillette Sensor, and then we'll finish it up with some Skin Bracer Aftershave. So let's get started. Okay, we're going to start by wetting the face really quickly. And let's talk about <clears throat> why I stopped using cartridge razors. So, got the Barbasol canned shaving cream. And the ingredients are on the back of it. I always like to show the, uh, show the ingredients, but... Uh, a lot of stuff in here that doesn't look like it's great for the skin, but I personally have never had a any performance issues with canned shaving cream. It's always when compared to your garden variety artisan shaving soap. I've always found uh, Barbasol and Gillette Foamy, for example, to perform perfectly adequate uh, by comparison to artisan shaving soaps. But it definitely doesn't have stuff in here that's great for your skin, so it has that going against it. So let's put some on so the uh, when I first got started the first reason that I stopped using cartridge razors was because double-edged razors and their blades well particularly their blades were much cheaper I did the math and on average Double-edged blades are 10 times cheaper than most cartridge razors. Even the sensor, which is one of the cheaper ones. But it's much, much cheaper. Now, obviously, it's depending on what blade you get. But, like, if you get a bunch of Astra's, SP or Superior Stainless, those are very affordable. Now, the startup cost is expensive because you have to get a razor that is somewhere between $40 and a hundred dollars usually to get a good one and then you got to get a brush to use shaving soap and then shaving soap itself is not the cheapest thing in the world but once you get started uh, you can if you stay focused and don't dive down the rabbit hole you can save a lot of money a lot of money especially if you're somebody who chooses to shave every day or needs to shave every day Speaking of shaving every day, we've got three days growth on the face today. So let's get started. Now, I have since turned this into a hobby. So any hope I had of saving money is likely out the window. So, but I still maintain that if you stay focused and uh, don't use your initial purchase as a, as a gateway drug to turn this into a hobby, you will save a tremendous amount of money. I mean, cartridge razors are outrageously expensive. Even ones from Dollar Shave Club and Harry's, they're just more expensive than they need to be. Now, if I had to use a cartridge razor, it would be this one. And the reason is because I started out with the Gillette Mach 3, and uh, at some point after I got out of boot camp, somebody told me uh, because I was getting a lot of irritation and redness and ingrown hairs from the Mach 3, somebody told me to try the sensor because it has two blades instead of three and they're spread further apart. So it's easier to rinse and it doesn't give you as much irritation. So I found an older one and that seems that does seem to be the case. So if I had to use a cartridge razor, I would use this one. Now that brings me to my second point. The 
The next reason I stopped using cartridge razors is because using double-edged blades or artist club or injector razors, gem razors, those give me a more refreshing, higher quality shave, a more satisfying shave. I mean, even this one tugs on, on three days growth. It tugs on your face. And there's just this scraping sensation, this rubbing, and it's just not comfortable, even with uh, canned, uh, canned shaving cream or with any shaving soap for that matter. These things just tend to tug and drag. That was an ingrown hair, by the way. So we're not going to blame that on shaving habits. But... The difference is you're dealing with a uh, a cartridge razor it has multiple blades that are relatively sharp, whereas D, E, and single edge blades, double edge and single edge blades, you're dealing with one blade that is very sharp, and so you're going to get a shave where it just cuts through the hair. It's not pulling on the hair while it tries to cut through it. So that's another another reason. Uh, let's put some more shaving cream on the neck. The third reason I stopped was because I started growing quite resentful towards corporate grooming products. Now I keep some around, just in my den for if the opportunity to do a traditional shave with old school equipment does not present itself. And to be honest, my, my sensor is my air travel razor. So for when I do uh, domestic or international air travel, you obviously can't have a DE razor, so you have to use, have to bring one of these with you, a cartridge razor. So I just started, you know, deciding that maybe I need to start supporting local businesses, small businesses uh, in as many ways as possible. And so my bath soaps and my shampoo pots, like my shampoo pots are from Phoenix Shaving. So a lot of my uh, bar soaps are from Shannon Soaps and... Uh, There's this uh, soap maker called Bathhouse that has a store in uh, St. Charles, Missouri, where I get a lot of my bath soaps and stuff like that. So those are the three reasons why I decided that I should kick the carts. Now, I'll probably go into another video where... Somebody, uh, somebody gave me the idea to do a uh, a side by side where on one side of my face I use a safety razor and on the other side I use a cart. So at some point down the road I'm gonna do a video like that, but I just wanted to uh, to knock this one out really quickly. All right, let's try going up on the cheek, see if that gives me ingrown hairs. Here we go. Now, I, I will say this. Shaving with something like this is still wet shaving. And don't ever let anybody tell you that it's not. So if you're somebody that still shaves with a cart, but you use some kind of artisan shaving soap. You know, that's, there's nothing to be ashamed of. Some people's skin just can't do uh, DE or single edge blades. They just can't do it. I mean, I have uh, openly admitted in other videos that my face does not lend itself well to uh, traditional shaving. 
but I'm going to do it anyway because I like it better. So. Doing some touch-ups here. All right, let's have a rinse. does look like with the exception of this ingrown hair right here which produced a tiny nick looks like that would have been a nick free shave so you know if you're somebody who's been watching my channel for a while you know I cut myself on almost every shave I do I've just resigned myself to the fact that uh, my shaving skills are not great my face is not great but uh it's shaving for Pete's sake it does not have to be perfect and you should be very cynical of anybody who tells you that it does. So, as long as you get a satisfying shave, uh, you should not be letting anybody else tell you that you're doing it wrong. I mean, I'm open to advice, practical advice. I'm open to uh, suggestions for breaking bad habits. But at the end of the day, if I'm getting a satisfying shave, there's not much... To really complain about so let's move on to the aftershave okay time for some skin bracer love this stuff I really wish there was a soap that uh, matched the scent to this somebody told me this is actually really hard to uh, to replicate and that's why there's not very many if any out there smells smells great though Woo. No burn at all. No burn and a great scent. What else can you ask for? Okay, skin bracer. Now, what are my final thoughts on uh, on this video for today? Um, if somebody came to me and said, hey, should I try to do traditional shaving? You know, with a brush and an old-fashioned soap and an old-fashioned razor. Um, if somebody asks me, you know, hey, should I try that? I'm always going to tell you yes, just because what have you got to lose? You know, in most cases, you're going to save money if you don't turn it into a hobby that takes up your entire shaved end. But I think uh, most people would benefit from doing it not the way I just did it. You know, try a Razor Rock razor or a... Uh, Merker or a Mula or Edwin Jagger. I actually don't have a ton of experience with those, but I do have a ton of experience with uh, with Razor Rocks. Try a supply uh, injector razor. That seems to be a gateway razor for a lot of people to get into traditional shaving. And I've, I've noticed that a lot of people who think they can't shave, like they have to use an electric razor because their face just has so many problems. I've had them try, you know, a safety razor and give them advice on, okay, here's what you do, here's what you shouldn't do. And they manage to be able to shave that way, and it's a good shave. So I think a lot of people don't realize that uh, there's lots of ways to shave, and it, you might not be restricted quite like you think you are. So that's, uh, that's I guess, uh, my thoughts for today is keep an open mind. I want to thank everybody for watching, and until next time, this is Soap Thing telling you, shave like you mean it. I'll see you next time.